I love this group, okay? We all do, coaches, man. We, we love this group of guys, man. We got a talented group that works their ass off, that's hungry, and wants to have success, okay? Things that we talk about every day is what you gotta do to have success. Do your job. I wanna prove to everyone, everyone, okay, that we can line up for 60 minutes, okay? Play in and play out and knock the shit out of people. So it's gonna go back and forth, right? It's gonna be that type of game, we know that, right? But at the end of the day, that's right where we want them. Okay, cause that's who we are. And let's go, let's go, let's go. Trying to run it straight ahead, and this time Fontenot is in for the Colorado touchdown. It's underneath, and Montez gonna keep it. And now he's got a man, and that's going to be six for Colorado, Tony Brown. Does a great job of Tony Brown. He gets all the credit on this one. Proud of the coaches coming off of some adversity last week. You guys handled it like pros. Okay, the preparation was there. Listen up. We knew it, we knew it was going to go all the way down to the end, and that's what we wanted. Okay, you can see we came to their place, okay, and beat their ass. <laughs> Best way to develop players is to is to um, gain their trust and to build trust with them, and that's every opportunity that you get a chance to to interact with a player. You have to make sure they understand where you're coming from. Oh, listen, listen. You're gonna shuffle over here. Once he shuffles over here, listen. First of all, start one yard, start two yards apart. So you're here, here. I come here and I come up, okay, and then you punch me. And I come back, I come over here, and I come up and punch me, okay? Start two yards apart. Here we go. Always keep it real with the players, whether it's good or whether it's bad. You know, you just have to be straight up with the guys, let them know where you stand, and try to help them in any way that you can. You know, whether you give them advice about off-the-field issues, you make sure that they, you're supporting them academically. Make sure they know that it's important to you that they go to class and they do well in school. Front 
Cortez gives on the end around as they pitch it to Tony Brown. He's looking for the edge. He cuts inside a blocker at the 10 yard line. Outside the number, steps out of a tackle. Wow. The and sold! Touchdown! Touchdown, Colorado! He's going to throw down the right side, wide open, Dimitri Stanley, back pedaling face mask, high grab on the right side of the end zone. Oh, what a play. The whole run down the right side, Tony Brown is out there, and he makes the grab at the 15, and he's out of bounds. Ties downfield off his back foot, rips it downfield, and it is intercepted by Mikhail Odu at the 45 to the 40, and he's cut down, and a turnover! and he is pulled down by Tavion Taylor from behind. <laughs> it is knocked away from behind. Oh, what a play by Mikhail Onu. Montez looking left, throws a slant, Aries has got it. He tries to step away from Winnegu, he does. He runs across the 40, watch out! To the near side, he whips it in the end zone, sliding down, and the cram is made, Brady Russell! He's honest with players, he's honest with coaches. He's gonna let you know where you're at and what you need to do to get better. And I think as a former player and a former buff, you know, that's what I wanted as a player. I wanted my position coach and my coordinator and my head coach to tell me, hey, Chef, this is what you need to do to get better. Well, Coach has a lot of life experiences. I think those life experiences, you know, that he can give of players that he's coached before, I think those life experiences really help guys when you really relate because, you know, he's been in the NFL for 10 years. So he understands and he sees players and it helps us because he sees things that, the, uh, that his former players did, and then we're able to help coach our players through those situations. Now, Montez, good field in the pocket, and he finds LaVisca Chanel for a first down. Smith gets a first down inside the 10. You know, they have to feel supported. They have to feel like um, that they can trust me. And when you have trust and mutual respect with a player, that's when you the players can really develop because you can tell them things, whether it's on the field or off the field. You can point some things out to them, to them. You can suggest some things and they will actually listen to you. And once you capture their mind and you can get them to really, you know, hear you, you know, listen to you, you know, take things to heart and then really try to go and apply the things that you ask them to do on and off the field, that's when they see success. And once they start to see success and they see a change for the better, then they want more and it starts to snowball. And then that's when it becomes really fun because players start to improve at a faster rate, you know, as you go. And then it becomes how good can we get?